So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload reference images into VidJourney. So for example, if there's an image that you liked from the internet or an image that you've taken that you want to use as an example of the type of composition or the overall image that you want to embody through your mid-journey prompt, you can do that. So I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to start with an image that I have on my computer. You can use any image that you want. I'll include a link to this image below this video. And essentially all you need to do first is just upload the image to Discord. So when you upload this image, Discord will give you a URL link. So go ahead and click on the image and then go to open in browser and then you'll have this URL link at the very top here. Now Discord is limited to, I believe it's eight megabytes if you don't pay for the premium subscription. And you don't actually have to upload the image directly to Discord to get the link. You can use any image URL uh, that you can find online as well. So for example, if we go to the internet and we'll say cinematic shot uh, and we can go here, uh, we could use any of these image, like this image, for example, you would just uh, find it, right click and then copy the image address. Cool. So let's go to this image here. I'm just going to copy the image address from Discord and let's start remixing this image. So I'm going to type in forward slash imagine. And the first thing I want to do is just paste in the address for that specific image. And I'll do space. And let's now describe what we want to see from this image. So the first thing that you typically want to do, unless you want your image to be completely different, is you want to describe what's going on. So I'm going to say a cinematic still of a car driving through an explosion. And now we can get creative with how we describe this. So let's say for my composition, I actually want this car to be green. So I'm going to say a cinematic still of a green car driving through an explosion. And I'm going to do a comma. And then I'm going to say green car one more time, just to reinforce the fact that we want a green car here. So let me go ahead and run this prompt and we'll see what we get. Okay, so let's take a look at what Midjourney has given us here. You can see we have four different images here. They all are very similar to the reference image that we uploaded and the car you can see is green this time. So this looks pretty cool and this is very similar, I'd say, to the reference image. But what if you want to add in a lot of stuff that's not necessarily found in the reference image? So you just kind of loosely want it to be based on this image, uh, but you really want to change it. So let's say that instead of this car driving through this like explosion scene, we want it to be driving through a, a pinata explosion with like candy. So if I was to just update the prompt as it is right now, we probably wouldn't get some great results, but let's take a look. So I'm going to do the same thing. So we'll say, imagine uh, the same prompt, a cinematic still of a green car driving through, I'm going to say uh, an exploding pinata. And we'll say, candy explosion, and then we'll also uh, just keep the green car prompt there. So I'm going to run this. This probably won't work very well, uh, but I just want to illustrate the point here. So let's go ahead and run this prompt. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. So I can see that this explosion, the elements here, maybe those are pieces of candy. I'm not really seeing a lot of pinata per se. I guess this could be a pinata. These could be candy, and, and this is doing a pretty good job. Uh, these look like Lego blocks, <laughs> and uh, this just looks like origami pieces. So uh, it's not really doing a great job, and mainly it's because of the image weight. So whenever you upload an image to Discord or whenever you have mid-journey reference an image, it gives that image a weight of 1, which basically means that uh, it's the default uh, amount that mid-journey will use to reference that image. So sometimes whenever you are not able to customize your scene fully and get all of the elements or the creative direction that you are wanting from that specific scene, you actually need to turn down the image weight a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that for this scene here. So I'm going to take the exact same prompt and say, imagine cinematic still of a green car driving through an exploding pinata, candy explosion, green car. And then I will do dash dash IW for image weight. And we can pick a number now that is lower than one. And if we wanted, for example, the image uh, to have more weight, we could do a number that's higher than one, like two. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to say 0.5. 
so that it is reducing the overall image weight and the effects that this image has on the final output by half. So we'll probably see some variants that are quite a bit different than the original image, but we should start to see a little bit more of our creative direction here. So let's see what we get. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have now. So yes, it's done a much, much better job this time. So we can see that this one definitely looks like a pinata. It's just basically been vaporized uh, by this car. Um, some of the, the candy pieces we could probably art direct a little bit more, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, this one, I like the explosion a lot, but it looks like he's driving over a pile of uh, runts. You remember runts, those candies? The banana flavor was like the worst, but uh, yeah, those kind of look like runts there. Uh, this one down here looks like uh, these are maybe like ornaments or something like that, but it's generally getting the creative direction. This one's great, so it looks like definitely a pinata that just got exploded. So uh, we could probably rerun this a few more times or um, maybe turn up the image weight to uh, maybe like 0.6 or 0.75, but you get the idea. This is kind of how you can creatively direct a scene using reference images. So I want to do one more example uh, because I want you to see how you can actually pull images from films that might represent the overall aesthetic that you are trying to create inside of your uh, film. Uh, so this is a very common practice. So typically when people are pitching a movie, uh, they will actually put together a cinematic pitch. Um, it's usually like an animatic, like a, a video example of the kind of general aesthetic that they want for their film. And they'll typically use images from feature length films or television uh, to help just convey their overall uh design style for their actual film. Uh, so it's a very common practice. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, this really cool shot from No Country for Old Men. Uh, so we have uh, Javier Bardem. He's in the scene. It's the, the scene where he flips the coin. Very, very good scene. Uh, so let's pull the image reference here. So I'll get that URL. And let's say that I'm working on a film that takes place in, let's say, a pizza shop. And I want to uh, change him as the lead. And then I want to change the the background and the, the design style of the scene. And just generally, I like the lighting. I like the overall aesthetic of the shot. Uh, I just want to kind of uh, use our own creative interpretation of it. So uh, in order to do that, uh, I'll do exactly what we did before. We'll say imagine, and then I'll paste in the URL. And let's say this time a cinematic shot of an African-American woman in a pizza shop. So let's see what it gives us. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. So obviously the haircut is uh, the same, but we could creatively direct and change the haircut to whatever we want. Uh, but it's very interesting. The lighting style, the, the general uh, aesthetic of the background definitely fits in line with the imagery uploaded from No Country to Old Men. And I should also note that because of the aspect ratio of the reference image, uh, it did letterbox this image. So if you are using a different aspect ratio, you might want to scale it up, for example, to a 16 by 9 image format, uh, just so it matches. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty cool way to creatively direct. Uh, you can change the overall aesthetic of certain shots and certain scenes just to uh, inject your own creativity.